ティータイム Michael Bowden back, aka Destiny Hero Mike, and welcome back to D Time Live Duels. Yes, D Time Live Duels. Looks like you guys just saw I won the dice roll. I'm going against actual Dogmatica. No, not Dogmatica Shadow. No, not Dogmatica uh, Invoker. No, it's Dogmatica Dogmatica. Actual Dogmatica deck. Very interesting, very unique. Shout out to my good man Berlin here, very good player. Uh, the guy's a very, he's a very methodical player and he, you know, he makes very good plays, makes very good moves here. Um, most of the time that I've, all the times that I fought him and, you know, he, he frequently tops, very strong players. Shout out to my man Berlin here. Uh, I start off with a hero lives, pay half my life points, my 4,000, summon Stratos, Stratos effect, chain and perm, that hurts a little bit. But you see, Heroes today with a hero lives at three and straddles at you know not being a, a once per turn, they disrespect hand traps. They really do. So we just go get another one and see what he has with this one. Normal summon. Now do you have the ash? Now that would hurt. Then we go to search and we're good. And in this in this game, I, I we both make a huge misplay, but it's okay because it's it's always about learning. So we get the Ferris. Ferris sends the shadow mist. And the uh, for cost, and then chain link one shadow. I think it's chain link one shadow miss chain link two. The uh, Ferris who go set the increase from the deck to the back row. But yes, in this game, in this duel, I made we both made a we both made an illegal play. I say it's on both of us because I should have caught it. You know, it's my card. You know, it, it's I should have caught it. So you know. Uh, it was or is, is using my card, so I should have definitely. I should. I, I should know this, so I, I'm glad um, this happened, so I can show this to you guys. But yes, everything resolved. Shadow Miss goes to surge, as you see. He goes to get the uh, Liquid Soldier, then tributes off to Stratos to summon the himself and the Vion from the deck, and Vion sends the Malicious from the deck to the graveyard. Since we already used the one Shadow Miss, so we banish the Shadow Miss with the. Uh, Vion to add polarization. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, all right. But that's how Yu-Gi-Oh be, you know. If you don't have, you know, you don't have hand traps, it's just all you can do is just like, all right, thumbs up. That's all you can do. But you know, I go to Link off, and he wants to learn how I got the polarization. So, you know, that's always good. You want to keep track of what your opponent's doing. So you see what I'm talking about. So this guy here, I think, is champion, uh, champion material. You know, even if you know you don't have anything, you want to learn the opponent's deck. You know, especially going into siding and stuff like that. You want to know, you know, try to understand choke points. So then, you know, we bring out the Wonder Driver. We go polymerization into the. We get rid of the uh, increase. No, no, no. Vion and the. Oh, okay, I'm going chain link one two. So we polymerization the Vion and the Liquid Soldier into. Chain link one, two, three. So chain link one is mandatory. Mandatory Wonder Driver chain link two. The Liquid Soldier to draw two, discard one, and chain link three. Um, the Sunrise to add a Miracle Future from deck to hand. And that is what is called a chain block. So if he had something like a Ghost Bell, which I guess is no longer being played as heavily as it was, but if he had something like a Ghost Bell, <laughs> Ghost Bell for the. Uh, What's his name? Wonder Driver. She cannot because she misses timing. Because she's being chain blocked. This is why DD Crow is being played over the Ghost Bell. Uh, situations like this. Technical situations like this. And then Chain Link 2, the Sunrise. Uh, not the Sunrise. The Liquid Soldier draws 2, and I discard 1. And I'm just kind of seeing what I do here. And we discard the Destiny Draw that we do not need this turn here. So uh, then we resolve Chain Link 1 through Wonder Driver to set the Palmerization from Graveyard to the Spell Chop card zone. And, uh, and we continue with our play here. And it looks like I think I'm about ready to link off uh, the Wonder Driver and the uh, Ferris into <laughs> the Cross Crusader. Excuse me. And he wants to read it. Good, like I said, you want to know what your opponent's doing, you know. 
So yeah, we go ahead and pop off the Cross the Seder, special summon it, target the militia, special summon it, and then second effect, he has no uh, response. Tri uh, tribute the Destiny Hero Malicious to add a hero from back to hand, and what do I grab? We grab the Denier. Okay? Because it looks like, let's see what we do here. Well, yeah, hmm, I think I'm gonna have two monsters on the field. Let's see what happens here. Polymerization, yeah. Okay, yeah, we polymerization away the Sunrise, and the Denier into the DP. It's me, it's me, D-P-E. Yes, and we're looking at the graveyard. I'm trying to see what I want to do here. We have three Destiny Hero monsters in the grave. Looks like I already had that extra. Oh, no, we don't. So I take a risky play here. This is what most Omni Hero decks have to do. They have to pop himself. A, a DPE has to pop himself and another card to make sure there's three uh, Destiny Hero monsters in the graveyard. Now, normally I don't have that problem, but this time I, I kind of had to do that. So, yeah, and then we, where's three? And then we uh, bless him with Dark Angel. Discard it from the graveyard. And boom, we banish that. Why we banish the malicious? So that we set a mass change and we can, and, you know, we, we have a dark law. Now you're gonna, here coming up is where the misplay happens. He has no Nibiru. Fortunately, that is very nice. No Nibiru, very nice. Um, and so he goes to draw phase. And the standby phase, the uh, DPE comes back. And he links that off. I'm like, oh, Link Rebo. And here's the misplay, guys. You guys ready? He brings out an Almirage. That's an illegal play. It, it, Almirage can only uh, use that for normal monsters. I didn't catch it, nor did he. So, spoiler, because of that happened, all be, just because that happened, I lose this game. So, I mean, he has extenders out the wazoo. He's able to pop off of spell cards. I lose this game so do not let this happen to you guys no the opponent cannot link this off right now mirage it has to be either uh relinquish or one of the link rebos that's it it cannot be the almirage so and you know another reason i, I wish i you know to be fair i wish dark angel was level two so you just can't link him away that would be so cool but to be fair not every deck plays link rebo so i think it balances out um spell heavy decks that don't use link rebo it balances out but you know, he's a very strong hero. Even 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 while Link Rebo is a card, he's doing this while Link Rebo exists. Very powerful. So I bring out the our chain Dark Law, our chain the mass change into Dark Law on his Nadir servant. And you know, in retrospect, I'm kicking myself in this game, but that's okay because we learn and we're able to recover from this mistake. And you know, he's kind of playing what he wants to add. You know. Whoa, no, 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 no. He's still able to search. It's not a cost to send uh, with Nadir's Servant. So whatever he sends is going to be banished. So he sends the... It's another learning lesson. If you guys are up against Nadir's Servant while you have a Dark Law, they need your Servant. They send the uh, the uh, Elder Natis. It's banished, and Natis does not resolve. But they do get their search. They get their Ecclesia. And okay, and then I pop off my Dark Law, and I, I don't know, I, I don't think I hit anything very good here. Let's see. Uh, four, banish the trap card, the punishment, which, you know, Dark Law shuts it down. So I hit a dead card. Uh, I wish I hit the Ecclesia or something. And, um,. And yeah, okay, so yeah, we normal summon the Ecclesia, and I'm just kind of like, um, where do I DPE here? That's my problem. Sometimes I don't know when to DPE. And he's going to go get the Fleur Lees, and I'm just trying to figure out when do I. Uh, when do I DPE? Should I, should I have DPE here? I think I should have DPE'd here because that would have stopped the Florida Leaves from coming out. So I should have DPE'd on the search effect because I believe she could chain the special summon. And she's going to negate one of my guys. And I let her negate my. This is where I messed up. So two mess ups, okay? 
He links off the Dark Angel for Almirage. Can't do that. And two, he normal summon. He doesn't have any more extenders after this. I could have popped the um. So this was my game, but I I just no balls. It gets out of control. I, I could have popped the Ecclesia on Search Effect. I know that he already got rid of the what was that card? The Dogmatic of Punishment, which cannot activate under DPE under Dark Law. So, and I'm just doing the math. Uh, the DPE reduces their attack from pretty much zero. I mean, there's a lot of heroes in my graveyard, so. I was explaining to him, like, before you attack, you should know their stats. So, I'm not a dirty player. I'm not going to try to dog him out here. But, yeah, I misplayed. Um, because usually, like, I don't know, I'm used to extenders with this, this kind of variant. But I could have DPE'd a lot earlier. Wait. That was a... That, that, that Ecclesia was a special summon. Because he controlled a... Because there's a deck... There's a monster from the extra deck on the field. Never mind, never mind. We are correct here. Actually, no... Uh, destroying the Ecclesia would, I guess, it didn't matter. He had too many extenders. That was his normal summon. Now my uh, Dark Law is negated. Now he can just it, it, do stuff with his graveyard. He summons the Natis, or he summons the Divine Herald and pops off with the Natis in the graveyard from the extra deck to pop one of my monsters. DPE. Then I'm going to chain DPE, mitigate some damage. It looks like the Fleur de Lise is protected. Cannot because of the Almirage. So uh, it cannot be uh, destroyed by a uh, card effect, I believe. So that sucks. Then he calls by the grave, the DPE. That's not coming back. And I pop off the Ecclesia. Then he uses the... This is game. I only have 4,000 guys. So the pre the preparations of a uh, right pre prep. So eh, I die here, actually. So he's going to link. He's going to uh, ritual summon and kill me. So, yep. Yeah, and that was all from one, one miss step you know one illegal play that i didn't catch i caught it after okay i caught it after though i said hey wait a minute you couldn't do that he's like oh really okay but i said you know it's fine i already admitted defeat um no biggie let's just let's just play i, I take my loss you know i'm an honorable player bro i have a lot of pride i like to you know what i mean if i admit i admit i don't try to you know what i'm saying that's how you learn man that's how you never forget lesson that, that's how you never forget is is you know, you concede, and if you've already conceded on an illegal play, then I, I go to concede there. And then here's when I realize, oh wait, you couldn't do that. But yes, if you guys are digging what you're seeing, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe, quit playing with it, I don't know what you're playing here for. Also, this video is brought to you by our good friends over at VersusTCG.com. Uh, hit that affiliate code, DTIME. Five D time five enter D time five for five percent off on all TCG related products. And lastly, please go ahead and join that Discord, man. We've got all kinds of things popping off in that Discord. There's just nothing but hero love there. Great place to hang out, man. Uh, all love there. And if you've placed an order on TCG.com, remember, I have a section uh, which uh, I, if anybody wants to know about their order that they've placed using my affiliate link or my affiliate code. Go ahead and enter. Uh, go ahead and uh, enter into my Discord chat. It's in the. It's all in the uh, in the description. And it's free to join. So yeah. And we go into side deck here, and um, we're just gonna give it a. I don't side deck at all because now that I know, you know, you cannot Almirage. Um, where you know, I'm just gonna do the same combo again. I don't side deck because I want my combo to go as fluent as possible. He's siding stuff you guys can see. But I want my I want my, my stuff to go smooth, and I think here is where I'm explaining to him. Oh yeah, you couldn't do the Almirage play. You can't leak out my Dark Angel for Almirage, so um, uh, it's fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna you know keep my deck default. Sometimes a strategy that I do I don't side at all when I know I get to go first because if I don't side, I get I get a really smooth combo. I get a really smooth setup. I still get to play my deck as if there's nothing wrong. I don't have um, side deck cards that are holding up my combos and stuff like that. I don't have like, I'm not drawing like three hand traps and no combo pieces, you know? So I'm just gonna do full combo. If I, if I know my full combo is enough to, to beat your build, I don't have to side deck sometimes. So perfect example sometimes guy, uh, guys of knowing when and when not to side deck. Here, I don't side deck. 
So finally on into the next game. We both have the same color sleeves. I get to take first after that mishap. I shrug it off. Uh, even though I should have, technically I should have won that game, but I shrug it off. It's okay. So we uh, start off with normal summon um, Vion. And this is, we're going to take an awkward route, guys. So we send, because th this one doesn't end, up, end on a DPE, I don't think. But that's okay, we don't need the interruption. So we normal summon Vion, send the Shadow Mist, go at the Liquid Soldier, Bandit, Vion, Banners the Shadow Mist from the Graveyard, add Parmization from back to hand. We go, we pop off the Poly, and we send off the Plasma, because yeah, we, we're not going to, yeah, we don't need that this turn. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we send off the Plasma and the Liquid Soldier into a defense position, Sunrise. Yeah, you're gonna see why I put it into defense. And then Sunrise as Chainlink 2 from the Chainlink 1 Liquid, uh, add the Miracle Fusion from deck to hand. Then I go to draw two and discard one from Liquid uh, to resolve that. Okay, we discard the Hero Lives. Where were you? Where were you earlier in the turn? But yes, we pop off that Destiny draw, man. I love it, I love it, I love it. No Droll. We playing Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. We, since we know we're not going to use the Dark Angel uh, right here and now, we fuel our graveyard up with, with one of the uh, Dark Angels. This is why I play three Dark Angel, three Destiny draw, guys. Come on. Give the program. No hand traps. Now, let me tell you something. If that Destiny draw was a hand trap, or if the Dark Angel was a hand trap or something like that, man, this would be a very, like, not, you know, it wouldn't be a crazy turn then I'd have to guess on my opponent when I want a hand trap, when I could just play my deck just cleanly and fluently without the burden of a mashed in hand trap while, while I'm going first. So I like to play as like brick free as possible. Not to say that hand traps are brick, but they can be bricks depending on you know what you draw. So then I link those two off into the Sunrise. Now the reason why I had Sunrise, because I, I didn't know what I was going to draw, so I had Sunrise in defense. And I thought maybe if I end it with Sunrise, it w at least it w with the DP with the Dark Angel on the side of the field, at least the Sunrise is not an attack mode. But I link those two off into the Cross Crusader, special summon the uh, yeah. I special summon the Dark Angel and chip that off to add the Ferris. Ferris chip it off the Diamond Dude from hand. as cost to special summon it, and then I special summon. I don't have Wonder Driver yet, but I special summon the um, Ferris, and Ferris goes to place the increase. From the deck to the back row. And we're kind of looking okay. Well, I already used my cross guy this turn, but that's fine. We ain't tripping. We ain't tripping. And so, and I'm just kind of contemplating okay, what do I do here? Uh, how do I want to do this? Because this is an awkward situation. You guys see how I started? I started off, this is all off of a normal Son of Vion. So, yeah. Technically, you can maybe call this a one card combo. <laughs> um, so we bring out uh, the a, a dead Vion because we need a body on the board. Because we're going to go into the Wonder Driver. We're going to go into the Wonder Driver. So I think I link off here. Yeah, I wanted to keep a body on board. Why not? I don't think I have a Malicious in the graveyard. See, now that is what would have been insane. I for sure would have I for sure would have had a uh, DPE this turn, but no access to plasma, not plasma, or this plasma in the graveyard. No access to malicious, unfortunately. So I'm like, okay, all right, how, how can I play this in a sound manner? There's still, man, there's still Nibiru hanging over my head. There's also that, but fortunately, I still have my Miracle Fusion. So I did not use Miracle Fusion. So, and I was hoping to draw a Fusion Destiny, man. I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that card, woo. What do we do here? So I go to link off, but I don't. I do not commit to it. Yeah, I try to link. I, I attempt to link off, but I don't, I don't commit to it. So I should be fine. Ruling wise, I, legality wise, I should be fine. Okay, then I dark angel them. I set. Okay, I set two. What do we do here? Oh yeah, I don't link off, man. Because if I did that, I would have left an attack position monster on my opponent's side of the field because we know we're not, we don't have a DPE. So I would have left an attack position monster on my opponent's side of the field. And I have a, a mass change as a dark law, so I have mass change the Yoda Seed. So he switches to attack mode, goes to main phase, switches to attack mode, goes to attack the, the, yeah, he tries to attack the 
cross guy and the he's like oh it doesn't it doesn't require a level no it does not that's match change number two so we match change away the cross crusader when he goes to have the dark angel attack the cross crusader and i that just changes everything that puts my uh dark wall into defense mode and yeah can't do anything here he has all spells says two bluff spells and we're chilling we have two free bodies on the board and yeah there's honestly not a whole lot he can do here so he didn't get any extenders any other monsters so fortunate for me and in the standby phase we use the dark angels effect to banish himself and the diamond dude to search probably we're gonna go yeah we're getting fusion destiny this is disgusting I'm sorry guys this is just gross look this is the power this is the power of this is the power of destiny draw and and the dark angel in the graveyard we both place animal spell cards to the top of the deck and you guys are going to see how i draw into that and my, my thing is you know people ask me why don't why don't i play celestial the reason why i don't play celestial is because dark angel is better and he has the same exact requirement himself and a destiny hero monster to draw two blind cards no thank you I want to draw two cards that I know I'm going to draw. I want to draw a Fusion Destiny every single time. So we go Miracle Fusion. We go into Main Phase. We go to Miracle Fusion. And looks like he has no Crow or Bell to negate that. So we're going to go ahead and fuse away by banishing our Liquid Guy and our Dark. Looks like a Vion. So we're just going to bring out Fall Case. Yeah, this is why I don't play Bane because I don't play Malicious Bane because uh, Absolute Zero is a way better card. He could destroy the opponent's side of the field on the opponent's turn or your turn when you link him off of He's way better than Malicious Bane. And I get a draw two out of it from the follow-up Miracle Fusion play using the, as you see here, using the Liquid Soldier draw two, draw that Fusion Destiny that I searched to the top of the deck, which cannot be Ash, is beautiful. Now, the Liquid Soldier can be Ash, but, you know, that's okay because them getting that normal spell to the top of their deck can mess them up. Okay, and yeah, I draw two, man, and I discard one. I discard that. Looks like I discard E Emergency Call. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Fusion Destiny. This is disgusting. I think he's looking up a ruling or something. I mean, yeah, we go Fusion Destiny. So I'm like, yo, was that even legal? I, I don't remember what this, uh, what he's checking for, to be honest, but I know I win this game, so um, yeah, it's gonna have to go through. And what do we do here? Oh, yeah, we're sending our malicious and our denier to bring out our DPE. Oh my god, it's me, it's me, DPE. And uh, I'm gonna make a shirt out of that, guys. Yes, that's gonna be a shirt. It's gonna be a D-Time shirt. It's me as me, DPE. Put that on the shirt, hashtag that. And we link those uh, two bodies for all uh, for a cross guy, cross guy. We're just gonna, it's it's a game from here, guys. It's a game. I, I, I'm not gonna go over the combos. Look, we get the Stratos, no more some Stratos. Pop the, blow off the, the back row, which is all spells, and just cut right on into the next game. So, uh, he goes first. All right, now we're, we're we are in a Nibiru situation here. So he goes to prep, he goes pre prep, and I'm like, I'm gonna go pre droll. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we we just, we just go droll here, and that shuts down his entire. It's very unfortunate not to spoil what happens here, guys, but uh, he does not have a very long turn. Oh, he goes in, and gets his two cards. It's all good, la di da di. We likes to party. All right, and so does my Joel at this point. Boom, there it is. And he's like, what? He's sick, okay? He's sick, and he's like, all right, well, I have a nib, and I am my turn. I can't do anything else. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I legit, I'm sorry, because I know what it's like. Heroes search a lot as well. When we get hit by Joel, it's not fun. So I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm the best player on the planet just because I had a Joel. So, um, my man Bert, if you're watching this, yeah, it's, sorry, my guy, very sorry, because I hate when it happens to me. I've lost many a game to Joel, I'm sure you have too, if you play and are now watching it. Joel is a, m is a M-effer. 
he's like, oh, he's sick, man. He's thinking. He's thinking. And I say for us, as hero players, at least if we get hit by a Droll, bro, thank God for Fusion Destiny. We can still Fusion Destiny through a Droll, which is really cool. And he has to end his turn relying on the Biru. That's why he did it. If you're questioning, oh, why did he just end his turn like that? That's just so bad. No. This man has a Droll. I don't let that fool you. If you play it wrong, um, you get in the Biru. Anyways, we pop off. Look, man, nothing like drawing a Droll. Following turn, we get that hero Liz, baby. We get that Straddles. We pop off that Straddles into a Ferris. We pop off that Malicious from the hand that's cost from Ferris. We summon the Ferris. The Ferris goes ahead and pops off the increase from the deck to the back row. I took it all my D hero stuff, I think. No, or did I? No, I didn't. No, actually, that's not true. Uh, I took out my cross. Yeah. Now, if you want to know what I cited you now, you see I'm doing the Vision Hero Climbing, you guys are familiar with that. I cited out, this time I cited out, since I know I'm forced to go second, I cited out my Dark Angel for the Drone Lockburn instead. So, if that was a Dark Angel in hand, it would have been dead and he would have gotten full combo. Now, but, you know, so that's how you're supposed to side with Dark Angel. And this is why I'm able to play three Dark Angels. It's a perfect side out card in three, in three ofs. This is why I play Dark Angel the way I do. And, and, and the amount that I do, but you guys see I'm doing the standard um, I'm doing a, the, 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 the standard vision hero climbing And he's asking how I you know added these to hand. He's keeping track of everything. This is how bro Okay, this is this is how champions bring games back even when they're in a bad situation So I'm gonna link those two off Cause I now he's prompted to me that he may have a um He's prompted to me that he may straight up have, listen, I normally summon the uh, Stratos. He prompted me that he may have an Nibiru. I go to get the Liquid Soldier with Stratos. It's on summon, that's what I love about heroes. It's very annoying for the opponent because they're all on summon effects, most of them. Or the good ones at least. And we go Palmarization, uh, away the, who? Who do we get rid of? We need to keep a Dark on the field. We have a Light on the field. Um, we get rid of the Wind, so we get rid of the Stratos and the um, and the uh, Liquid Soldier from the hand, and we go chain link one, two, three. Do we do it here? We do it there. Okay, yeah, we do it there. Chain link one, two, three. Go get that Miracle Fusion, and he thinks he probably thinks I'm probably gonna try to overextend. This is nasty. He thinks I'm gonna go go. To, let's see, I have a Miracle Fusion. I, you know, it's obvious he has a Nibiru. He left his board way open. That's a that's bait. Okay, it's a trap. Shout out to my man from shorts from Star Wars. Yes, it's a it's a trap. It's a trap for show. Um, I draw two from Liquid Soldier as Chain Link two and discard one. I got my mass change. So look, okay. So bait versus bait. So look, I bait him now. So we get the polarization set from Chain Link one Wonder Driver, and we're just gonna look. We see that there. Look, I could keep going, but I'm not. We have eight K. No, no, no. We don't have eight K on the board. So he thinks, okay, that's not game. I'm safe. But I have mass change. Now, if he were to mass change me here, I'm gonna keep going. No, if, if he knows, if he were to nip me here, I'm going to plasma and take the um, and, and take the Nibiru because I still haven't used malicious. I still haven't used uh, the cross guy. I still haven't used any denier. I haven't done that. So this is checkmate, and this is how you do with Nibiru. Another way that I do with Nibiru is checkmate. So I go to battle phase. He, we're doing math because he believes that yeah I don't have game and he's that's only like 58 on board he thinks he has a chance to survive he thinks I'm just trying to get some damage in because that's very common right get some damage in before the Nibiru happens to force out the Nibiru so he thinks I'm gonna go to main phase 2 and then keep playing he thinks I'm checking for Nib this way but no But yeah, guys, this this is game. This is the pretty much gonna. Be, this is the looks like we're going into the end. Of, but this is game, and that's how I do it. But yes, uh, man, if you guys are loving what you see here, please subscribe. Shout out to my good friends over at versustcg.com, as well as join that Discord link. You especially have an incentive to join that Discord link because you know we check orders there. We we check versus TCG orders there. So, um, and. Uh, yeah, so I, I really, really appreciate you guys for, for you know, subbing and, and getting my sub count on. That's game with the mass change. So, good game to my man, Berlin. 
I will see you in another game. And there's Nibiru as you guys see there. And yeah, so he goes to scoop it up. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.